had a topic called the GTD app, right? I actually created the ultimate GTD app. I have it. Willing to give it to you, by the way. Uh, <clears throat> Because, you know, in the newsletter soon, if you get our GTD newsletter, hopefully you all do, I'll give you a link to this. Uh, <clears throat> there's the home page. <clears throat> That's what I want to see when I hit F1. Right? I want to see what's got to happen today, what I need to know about today, what needs to happen specifically on the time today, and I need to see what just happened sometime today for sure. I need to have all the rest of it at my fingertips so I can see longer or shorter on the process. I need to see then the other stuff I need to do in and around what's on my calendar and quickly be able to see a map of all the projects I have. I also, by the way, want to see and want to have the ability to be able to hit a note anywhere on my computer and a post-it shows up and it drops into an end basket and also the size of that end basket will change color as it grows and it will be on the corner of my screen all the time. Right? Uh, <clears throat> going to let me know how many projects I have that don't have next actions on them and any previous things I thought I was supposed to do on a day that went forward and didn't get done. I need to see that. that F1, that's what I want to see when I hit F1. Now, by the way, each one of those things, each one of those boxes, you could click on any one of those and they will take you to other, uh, other things. Just if you're processing your in-basket, that should look a little familiar to you folks. It's going to do that. But as you're doing, going through that, each one of those things, when you click, will take you to that area so that you can then manage that appropriately and, and you know, the right way. Uh, if you have a project, that project page should be processed there. You should have the ability to manage as much of that detail on that project as possible if you want to get to take a look at that project. By the way, if you identify something as a project, this will also... Uh, instantly give you whatever you program as the time you want to have for your project brainstorming software to come to, come to screen. I, it, to me, we have Mind Manager for two minutes. If I wanted to extend that, I could extend it. If not, then it goes on to something else. But it asks me, is there a next action on this, David, before you leave your brainstorming? Right? That's just three of 19 uh, screens that I drew in uh, 1994. It hasn't happened yet. <laughs> now, Coda and Scoro and, you know, come on, all, all our folks and, and Ken and OmniFocus all have done elegant versions of, 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 of a lot of this, but not the whole thing yet. We tried with two different teams with some of the best, brightest people in this world, and also 15 years with my friend Eric Mack, who designed what I'm still using, which is an overlay on IBM Notes now, which comes close to some of that, as close as we could get right, with the technology. So talk to Eric if you want to see, hear a lot of that history of where this comes from. The two times we did this in the mid-90s and then only about four or five years ago, it was Eric, um, Eric Anderson, his fabulous company, Intentional Software at that time. And neither one of them was able to get success for it for various reasons, not because of the lack of talent or the lack of a model to work on, but both technological issues, bi-directional issues, trying to build a, you know, something that would integrate all of this because it has to have calendar, it has to calendar, have the ability to integrate all of the stuff that you're doing and see it on a dashboard and be bi-directional. Expensive and hard to do technologically, legally. The worst thing is the market didn't think it needed it. Come on, people still walking around with stuff in their heads. Why would they bother buying something like that? So building a valuable, you know, final, valuable product, whatever you call that in the agile world, to begin with, start to do it, never really got off the ground. So this is going to be available publicly, and if you want to run with it, have at it. That's it, folks. <laughs> Thank you.